Hey everybody, what's good? Remember back a couple videos how I talked about rap was a sport or even a competition? So basically, if you walk around saying that you're the best rapper ever, well, you have to compare yourself to other rappers that are saying that they're better than everybody else. Well, rap battles is where a rapper can put their best against other rappers. Everyone gets the same beat. Usually there's about three rounds where the rapper gets to explain their case as to why the opponent is not nearly as talented as they are. As an example of a rap battle, uh, this clip was from four years ago when Netflix came out with Rhythm and Flow. It was a competition hosted by Chance the Rapper, Cardi B, and T.I., all incredibly successful rappers in their own right. This round is between two competitors, Beans and Flawless Real Talk. They're both Puerto Ricans, so this is brown on brown crime. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm going to be working on an animation while we take a look at this video. But before we jump into this video, go ahead and uh, head on over to coconutjustice.com where you can get some clothes that I think will look good on you. Not for anything, but uh, this hat is from the one and only Doug Infinite. Chicago Hip Hop Royalty slash just all around hip hop royalty. Producer extraordinaire, rapper. My guy is dope. Let's get into it. Beans. Uh, flawless real talk. Let's see what you got. Beans is going first. We're going to get into it, so let's get it. DJ Ed, drop the beat, son. Yo. Flawless. Never did I doubt him till they told me this a battle. I ain't want to, but I had to. Came up in this bitch, played a baby like a battle. Well, you know I got to wish your mother never had you. If you notice right there, she kind of messed up a little bit. And to give you guys a little bit more of a runway to understand what's going on here. So these guys get some time to go back and write some rhymes. Um, I'm not going to do any spoiler alerts. I remember watching this when it first aired on Netflix. Uh, so I know what happens. But um, this is still a really good example of how a, a rap battle can happen. Uh, if you go on YouTube and search rap battles, a lot of times what they do is they uh, rent out a theater and then they have a stage and everyone is up there and, and you have two people who have had a couple months to prepare. So they do a bunch of research and they, they, they basically find mean ways to explain why their opponents even exist. <laughs> And so then you you write a rhyme. Uh, they don't know what beat is going to be. Usually they don't know what beat is going to be played. But um, yeah, you prepare and you write and you so then you already have your lines or your bars ready to go. Uh, and then when they play the beat, you just basically take your rhyme and fit it to the beat. And with that being said, so that's kind of where... Uh, beans messed up a little bit she probably forgot a word or she got too excited she was already on to the next verse something happened to where she flubbed a line just real quick but the judges will notice that and take off points according to how smooth you let your your bars flow want to but i had to came up in this bitch played a baby like a bad way you know i got it Wish your mother never had you. No, you ain't considered this here. Whoever doubted the movement is going to regret this it this year. I ain't feeling you, brother. They ain't a sentiment near. Said a quarter million bucks, then they sent him in here. You got set up, so get in your car. Watch you drive it off the road. Big mouth over here. I get louder on the low. Young girl, try and get it. I'm scouting for the dough. I ain't stopping till I get where ain't no houses on the road. Need all cash money, you get ounces for a show. Different between the hills and the mountains gonna show. Nobody wanna hear you. Fuck you shouting out for fall from average. Why I got it down and now Joe I know you felt it coming I get it from the start You probably shake your stomach And giggle when you fought So there's a lot of different aspects To a rap battle um, Obviously you need to remember the words uh, The flow is uh, judged um, uh, Double entendres Triple entendres All of those get judged That's all part of the sport uh, Also uh, punchlines. So how she she's trying to make flawless real talk 
come off like he's soft and he's not as tough as he's going to try to make himself out to be. So uh, Beans just got done saying that he giggles when he farts. Like, <laughs> we'll say it takes a special kind of softness to think that that is cute. Let's go back a little bit because I need to hear her show. Different swing of hills in the mountains gon' show. Nobody wanna hear you. Fuck you shoutin' out for fall from average. Why I got it down and now Joe? I know you felt it coming. I get it from the start. You probably shave your stomach and giggle when you fart. And you know what they say about them dudes with no draws. I go hard, thinking you could use a little pause. Real tough up, you just for you to get involved. You get an E for effort and F on the results. You think you're the one, huh? All I see is flaws. I'm out here catching bodies. Somebody check this post. Today is daughter birthday, so I'm sending daddy home. So, uh, they're not going to talk about this in this video, but um, I saw a, an interview after this, and they interviewed Flawless. And uh, everyone on this show was friends. It, everyone got along. Um, but then when you go up against a battle, you have to flip a switch. No friends. No such thing as friends. Um, and then it depends on, obviously, the rapper. There's some people you can talk about everything from their mother on down. Uh, and then there's some people that don't appreciate that. And so when you say something like she mentioned Flawless's kids or at least one of his kids. Uh, and she says, you know, since it's his daughter's birthday, Beans is going to send daddy home. And Flawless admitted later that he had a, he had, he still had the same rhyme, but because she said that, he kicked it up a notch. And that's, this is where like really good MCs stand out from everyone else to be able to, to, call an audible, you know, like a quarterback goes up to the line and he sees that there's a certain defense being played. And so he'll call an audible. So they're going to go from a run play to a pass play or whatever. They're going to switch the play. That's what's happening in Flawless's head right now. He's rewriting some of his rhymes because he's about to attack Beans. Let's get into it. And she killed it. She did good with the exception of... With the exception of flubbing that line, and then uh, what was the other thing that she did? Um, no, she was she was tight. She the flow was great. She was funny. She had good punchlines, um, and not for anything. But don't get mad. Like you're here to be sent home, um, and you're gonna hear terms like even even uh, Beans did this when when you get bodied. That means you know they killed you. Not not really killed you but more just like they cut your head off they they kill you they all these things basically say that the rhymes took care of the violence you are now officially dead your rhyming your rap career is trash compared to what i just brought to the table and so now they're going to rewind the beat and they're going to give Flawless the same exact beat, the same amount of time, the same everything, with the exception of his bars. Let's see what he's got to say. Sure. But she killed it. Well, she looks like Beans a um, dead president. Like she's about to go Beans rob a bank. <laughs> it's looking crazy. Flawless it Real Talk, it's on you. DJ Head, let's get it. Look. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let me get this out the way so there's no contradiction. Fuck her and everybody in this competition. I'm taking all the names. Plus Flawless is here to send everybody home on his daughter's birthday. <laughs> and and to point this out too, um, Beans is a rapper. Um, rappers make music. They make albums. They make things that you can listen to, vibing in your car, whatever, whatever. Flawless's background is is in battle rap he shows up and he takes people's heads clean off so it's a little bit of an imbalance but when you watch this show you're going to notice that there was they were trying to team up or they're trying to pair up um people that were a little bit more it was it was going to be exciting for um it was going to be exciting 
for TV, basically. So this is a TV. They were supposed to battle different people, but then they are like, well, we got these two little Puerto Ricans, put the two little Puerto Ricans together. Brown on brown crime. Let's get it. Look. Mm. Let me get this out the way so there's no contradiction. Fuck her and everybody in this competition. Man, I'm taking all the names. Plus, this is Hollywood. He's it's only when it. I step on fake stars on my walk to fame. I came up, but you don't know what I've been through. Said they needed a body. I'm so sorry they sent you. Can't believe it's what they turning me into. Put me up against a Barbie like they don't already know what I can do. Please, kill me. So that's a really good example of a double entendre. He made a mention to Beans, and she's she's a gorgeous girl, a uh, woman. She's a gorgeous woman, um, and everyone is thinking that maybe Flawless was going to take his time and be a little bit more soft-handed when it came to her. But this is battle rap, baby. It don't matter who's on the other side. You got to kill them. You got to take their head clean off. And Flawless came out saying that to everybody. He said, it don't matter if it's her or anybody else in this competition. Everybody's going home because I'm that dude. Um, and then the double entendre was he made mention to her being pretty and she's a Barbie. And then he flipped it and he said, but they don't understand what I can do. Ken, Barbie's boyfriend, Ken. Just the double entendre is amazing turning me into put me up against a barbie like they don't already know what i can do please killing the chick really that's not me holding the and he said uh he was making the crowd ma and the crowd noise too like if the crowd reacts it kind of it kind of helps the judges lean one way or another um but this guy is just dropping bombs Barbie, like they don't already know what I can do, please. Killing the chick, really, that's not me. Calling the names like a bitch, really, that's not G. But watch your mouth, talk is cheap, baby, that's not free. I have my girl turn beans to a black eyed pea, for real. Before that's <laughs> that line, and I don't know, maybe it's because he starts some of his time schemes are food related, and you know how I get around food. But that was that was wonderful. He said. They're putting me up against this cute girl. I'm going to have to kill her. She got mouthy. She thinks that I'm not going to do anything, but I got my girl who's going to turn beans into a black eyed pea. Oh, just, just so good. Thought it, there was something that she did confess. She said some man's a battle rapper and he's like the best. Then she FaceTimed him for ball as soon as the cat. And before he drops this bomb, um, Yes, there is a lot of pride. There's a lot of ego that goes into rap, especially when you're trying to say that you are the best rapper to ever walk the planet, right? So you have to go for broke. And with that is the fact that if you are saying that you are the best lyricist, you're the best rapper, you're the best MC, all the same thing, you have to do it yourself. There's no ghostwriters. There's no calling your boyfriend. There's no anything. So... He is pointing out the fact that for as much as a good of a rapper that she is, she's not into it for this battle stuff. She had to go out and ask her, her boyfriend for help. And that's, that's one of the schemes or that's one of the lines that he fit in there when she said the line about his kids. She went and made mention to something that was important to him. So he's like, oh, OK, I got you. And then he pointed out that she called her boyfriend, which is a very, very big mistake. She said some man's a battle rapper and he's like the best. Then she FaceTimed him for ball as soon as the cast left. Oops, didn't mean to spill the beans like a bad chef. So go ahead and spit your balls all hype. Because you're going to have to FaceTime behind balls all night. So that is another one. Um, and, I, and I know that I'm stopping way more for him. Her, her, uh, her rap was great. But he's hitting on all cylinders right now. His flow is impeccable. His bars, his double entendres, his punchlines, everything is just... And she says it later in an interview where battle rap is not her thing and, and Flawless did his thing. And this is, this is how he was trained to rap. Um, he comes out and kills people and then he goes home. And the double entendre here, when he holds up his phone and he says you're going to be... Uh, you're going to be behind bars all night. That means that 
Every line that he's spitting is incredible. And this poor girl is going to have to sit there and take this ass whipping all night long. Uh, and he, he, the double entendre is um, her going to jail and being in prison and having to live this ass whipping versus uh, being behind bars all night, which are each one of his rap lines. Not all right. Hold up. I'm Puerto Rican. I've been eating. Behind bars all he's like a bad chef. So go ahead and spit your bars all hype. Cause you gonna have to face time behind bars all night. Two on one, no, that's not all right. Hold up, I'm Puerto Rican. I've been eating beans my whole life. What's up? <laughs> uh, that was one of my favorite lines in rap history. Um, he said <laughs> she called her boyfriend. So now it's two on one. It's not fair. But then he's Puerto Rican. He's been eating beans. He's, if you know, you know. That's how we get down. Rice and beans or you get the hell out. <laughs> One of my favorite lines ever. No, that's not all right. Hold up. I'm Puerto Rican. I've been eating beans my whole life. What's up? You got skills and you lack it as far. Your flat lines only show me what you're missing is hard. I've been through too many wars. You don't know about the scars. When I say I'm leaving the head, I need that head in a jump. He killed it. He killed it. He killed it. Battle rap 101. That's it. That's all you need to see. It is a good time. Um, watching these these poets, watching these MCs, watching these lyricists get it in and actually like perform and you're you're feeling the the rhythm of the music and the crowd's energy. And you have to remember all your lines and you are doing nothing but talking shit. <laughs> That's my favorite. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with each and every one of your friends. And if you want to come hang out with me while I try to work on animations and design work, uh, while we watch videos, uh, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell right next to it. So every time I come out with something, you'll be alerted. And don't forget to go to coconutjustice.com and get yourself some gear that I think you would look good in. And with that, I'm out. Coconut Justice.